Having said goodbye to their Australian refugee families, the participants are back on the road. They can only guess where they're headed. Dave said it was a gruelling, confronting journey that was going to push us to the edges of our... Um, Capabilities. Yeah, so I think Canberra. A Liberal, <laughs> a liberal Party meeting, perhaps, for you, Catherine. Yeah. Going to a winery. I'm worried, I've got to tell you, I'm worried. The two groups come together for a final time before heading overseas. Craig <laughs> Evan. Hi there, everyone. Hi. Hey. How are you all doing? Great. Hey. A cup of coffee won't hurt. <laughs> well, you've spent the last couple of days with Abdi and Hamid, refugees who fled their violent homelands, and you've heard their stories of life in the war zone. Over the next few weeks, it's possible you'll have first-hand experience of that. To give you a sense of the very real dangers, I'm going to place you in a series of life-threatening scenarios. The violence will be simulated, but what you learn in the next couple of hours may well save your lives. Please make your way over there. Uh -oh. Okay, come on guys. The participants will be taught to protect themselves against threats like kidnapping, roadside bombs and armed attack. We're going to teach you a couple of basic moves to protect you in the environment where things may escalate. Striking someone around the, the cranium is an easy way to knock someone out. So this is the area that we're protecting. Pair up. Don't be scared to have a bit of a go at each other here. <laughs> hey, I'll give you a hand there. <laughs> Escalated, someone's come towards you. It might appear like fun and games. Today's training is imperative for war torn countries they'll travel to. Off you go. But it's almost impossible to prepare for what may be their greatest threat roadside bombs. Okay. Can you keep an arc out there? You keep your eyes out to the rear and you to the right rear. Yeah. It's so long ago. <laughs> the main thing is you know, not to panic, to just be quietly, calmly confident. Uh, no, you drill simple things like how do the locks on the door operate of a car. I'm not a person capable for a situation like this. I mean, there's a minimum I can do and I can be taught things, etc. But you know, I just don't have the fitness. I don't have the physical capacity. We are just civilians. We, we're unpredictable under fire. And there are real rockets and there are real rounds. That's, that's a whole different story. The reality of the dangers that lie ahead start to hit home. I don't feel like I've been to a scary place. Now that I'm hearing, you know, possibilities and I've had this kind of training today, I feel like the only places I've ever been is fairyland where there's rainbows. Mm. Mm. I feel like we're ready, but how ready can you be? I want to be pushed out of my comfort zone, and I don't think there could be any further pushing out of our comfort zones and where no. we're going to end up. See you, Alan. Yeah.